More people are spotting moose here in southern Colorado, including one near the Air Force Academy yesterday. It's a story we first told you about last night. Yeah, of course, the moose have been around long before us in our state. So the question is, do you know what to do if you see a moose and it's just feet away from you? Garrity News Channel 13's Eric Fink tells us what experts say you should do. If you come across a moose, the best advice is to back away slowly and give it plenty of space to roam. Just like any large creature, I'd stay a safe distance away. We, I'd try not to disturb it. The fact there was a moose in southern Colorado is getting a lot of people's attention. That is a big animal. That's what I would think if I seen a moose on the side of Air Force Base. An adult moose weighs upward of 1,200 pounds. Parks and Wildlife says there's a growing moose population in the Centennial State since its introduction here decades ago. Moose were introduced to Colorado in the late 1970s. We brought a couple in from Utah, and ever since, the population's just been expanding and growing. And our moose population is actually doing really well and thriving in Colorado. Colorado Parks and Wildlife says moose sightings typically happen much more frequently in the northern part of the state. Here in southern Colorado, officials say there are a couple sightings every year. And Sundays was the first of 2014. These animals are not afraid of humans. One Springs resident on Facebook says, most people don't realize how mean those suckers are. I would worry more about a moose encounter than a mountain lion. The mountain lions will almost always leave you alone. In Colorado Springs, Eric Fink, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Eric. And Colorado Parks and Wildlife thinks that moose is most likely using Fountain Creek because creeks are natural highways for wildlife. Well, anyway, a story of survival and.